our stockroom tour. Um, it's Charlie here. I'm just going to be showing you a quick tour of our stockroom, a few highlights, and then I'll pass you over to Harry for a recent charity shop haul. So, first things first, we've got our video game section here. Probably a few spread around here, but this is where the majority are. So, firstly, we've got our PS1 titles. Nothing really special there. Usually the good titles go pretty quickly when put them on eBay. Uh, we've got a Dreamcast, a few games there, DS games. This one in particular, um, we got it as part of a retro gaming hall we got that along with these 64 carts this one here alone probably sells for anywhere from 50 to 70 depending on how, how long you want to wait and we paid 70 for the whole lot um i'll try putting a picture of the haul that we got now so as you can see there was quite a lot there um got a real good deal on that uh, local pickup so moving on we've got just general normal ps2 games uh, good ones here are crash nitro gitaru jitaru man i think we've got that up for 20 pounds and the rest are just average five to ten pound titles uh, the Wii U games, I'm not sure if you've seen our video, if not go check it out, we got a huge Wii U haul, quite a lot of the games have already gone so getting our money back on that already. Uh, Wii games, Wii console, and then up here we've got uh, PS3 games, PSP, more DS, quite a lot of PS1 demos, we're not able to shift them. Don't seem like real good sellers, so we may have to bundle them. So, as you saw in the picture, we got quite a few carts. So, we've got Zelda there around 35, Goldeneye about 10 to 15. This one's quite a unknown one. Snowboard Kids, that's around 10 to 15. And Super Smash Bros, we've got that for about 40 for cart only. So moving on, uh, we've got Xbox 360 games, original Xbox, we've actually got a sealed original Xbox game there, and a few GameCube from a recent Wii haul. Uh, another one to note here is Pokemon XD. This was also in that huge haul for £70, or £80 it may have been, I need to check on that. Uh, this one here, you can get anywhere from 60 to 70 including the manual. Unfortunately, this one has no manual, but happy to wait on a good sale for that one. Uh, FBA pile here, just sealed media. Uh, let's check under here. The reason for all of this kind of plastic covered bag kind of thing is we're actually in a garage which often gets leaks um, through the ceiling resulting in quite a lot of stuff getting wet so we have to cover that up sorry about that uh my phone died so we've got our packing stuff there anti-back wipes for all the dusty stuff that we pick up uh bits and bobs here uh just some figures nothing too special uh would recommend looking out for that money box though scooby-doo money box sells for 10 to 15 i think we picked that up for like 50p so uh, we've got some WWE RA figures. Uh, I think that's a Wii inside that bottom one and some ties. Our uh, pile of shame, as people like to put it, Harry Potter books. We've got them basically coming out of our eyes. As you can see, yep, there are some more over there. Um, we do plan to put these into bundles, but it's quite hard to find complete sets as people would know um some more ra there vhs which came as part of a bundle that we got with the player there sold the player for 110 pounds purchased the whole lot for a tenner unfortunately hermes damaged this while in transit so we had to be compensated for that still i think we managed to get 70 pounds back off them 
as shown a minute ago, some more Harry Potter books, uh, Hot Wires there, board game, 20 to £30 depending on how long you want to wait, obviously the Holy Grail, Hero Quest, Harry sourced that on Spock for £17 I think it was posted, um, got that on at top end at around £120. Um, down here we've got boxes of Warhammer, Harry also sourced at the boot sale, um, got a huge box of it for around £100, I mean like boxes upon boxes of this, we've shifted quite a lot as it goes, or just thrown loose boxes away, but I think we've cleared about £100 in it, was a bit of a punt seemed to be all mixed up in different boxes had no knowledge on Warhammer before but I think you have to know about it to be able to sell it well unless it's brand new and sealed but hopefully we'll get that shifted soon uh, let's have a look here got some plush don't really tend to deal with a lot of plush slow sellers except from Flat Eric and the likes of him uh, a Lego set, picked this up for £10, local pickup, most of it still sealed in its bags. Retails for around 130 I believe, so either that's going to go on eBay for just shy of 100 or one of my siblings probably going to inherit it, which is more likely. Uh, moving back over here, we actually have some gaming stuff in this drawer. Uh, sorry if the camera keeps focusing in. Uh, we've got some Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. We've got a Game Boy Advance console, Game Boy Pocket. Got some DS lights in there. Not too much else in there. That's a box of console wires. Got some Warhammer in there some random bits and bobs there DVDs I think there's a box of probably more wires or printer paper back there uh, N64 and some other bits like the wires uh, moving on we come over to this side got some glasses and mugs quite a, people, quite a lot of people like to avoid it due to Problems with postal and packaging, smashing them up. We've only had that once and we've sold quite a few mugs and glasses online, so we'll continue to do that. Just a quick bolo. Um, Illy or Eilie mugs. With their sauces, we're selling them at two mugs and two sauces for £27, free postage. We sourced six cups, six sauces for £3.50, so very good margin on that. Uh, Disney mugs, Coca-Cola mugs, surprisingly good sellers in the summer, maybe not so much in Jan. Uh, Disney mugs, just some other assortment. Gromit mugs, got my cup of tea over there in it. Um, moving on to this storage unit. Uh, we've got a Peter Rabbit library, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Peppa Pig retail arbitrage. Uh, if I just focus in, Lemony Snicket books, Lord of the Rings. Quite a lot of bundles to be made there. Has same kind of situation with our Harry Potter. Um, just to give a bit of background, um, I'm Charlie and I work full time, and Harry, who will be in the next shot. Um, is at university, so kind of don't get that much time to go around listing and sorting stuff like these board games, which are probably the reason why they're all piled up, as we just don't get the time to sort through them, which is why we're much more into stuff like video games, where you can just pick one out, put it down there, as long as it's got the disc in it, you know, you know it's complete. Whereas with these ones take a bit while longer. So, but that is once we first started. So, board games used to be 
the thing, but it's moved on since then. Uh, glasses, I've got some tech deck there, just some random mugs, some sealed stuff, some camera accessories, sorry if you can't see that. We've got some bedding here, Super Mario, uh, Thomas the Tank also there. We've got some social work books we got for free on a local pickup, which we were going to send to FBA once we get registered for that. But because of the new fees, we are thinking otherwise. Uh, we've got some Kellogg's bowls, good money in them. Probably about 20 quid for these two there alone, so well worth picking up at the boot sales. Weetabix, these were charity shop haul, £2 for both of them. Slightly over here, we've got some dusty old caps. We've got a Wimbledon dusty hat and a Chicago Bulls hat. Harry sourced those, no idea on what kind of price they sell for, but I know that Zaheer does quite well on vintage caps, like that Wimbledon one there, so hopefully some money there. Uh, just some generic kind of electronics, like cameras and stuff, to be sorted. Uh, some more Warhammer, a little bit more Warhammer, just a bit more Warhammer. As you can see, we've still got quite a lot from that haul that we got a while ago. Uh, a antique that Harry picked up at a auction in Brighton, uh, which is quite local to us. Uh, I think he paid £20 all in, including fees on it. Uh, once we looked on eBay, it looks to be going around 20, uh, 70 to £90. Usually does sell on GSP, so quite a slow seller, but Harry's into his uh, antiques, so I thought it was worth a go. Uh, moving up here, we've got a little stack of LPs, which comes in with the LP collection we've got somewhere down there. Got 120 LPs for £11. I think we had quite a good, good few ones, like Elvis and... David Bowie, or David Bowie, however you want to pronounce it. Um, easily cleared our £10 investment at the moment, but these are the basically the cherry-picked ones, and I'm probably going to bundle the ones over there. Um, moving on, here's our printer. So if you just want to take a note of that, pick that up in Curry's for £30, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I think the ink was actually more expensive than the printer. Um, but because we're just doing uh, Royal Mail black and white labels, should last us a lifetime. So, just a few decorations there. Uh, whiteboard, just there if we need to remember anything. A um, bit more leg art there. Just some plush. And that is pretty much it guys, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll move on to the haul.